the snake. Get in. Whoa, wow. <laughs> Come on, we're back. Rod bending action, had a bit of a break, but it's good to be back. Oh, the thrasher. <laughs> nice one, got my gilly, my other half. <laughs> Snaking top lip, coming to the neck. Yeah, get in there. Nice. Yeah, just there. Look, you got it. Yeah. Nice one. Should be good to go, shouldn't it? Yeah. There it goes. Boosh. <laughs> get in. Right, welcome back guys. So we've had a had a bit of a break, me and Catherine. Just done a bit of fishing, you know, just for ourselves. Away from cameras, just to have a bit of bit of downtime, bit of me time. So as you can see, we swapped the pike rods for the fly rods. <laughs> and we're at a place called Raygill Fisheries. And there's uh, there's four lakes here. One of them's like a, a small commercial lake with carp and bream and roach and tench and stuff in. When you first drive in, it's on your on your right hand side. And uh, then there's a, another lake that's got I think it's got bigger carp in it. And then we're on the quarry lake. So that's uh, fly fishing only for trout and there's some pretty big pike in here as well. <laughs> See them cruising at margins now and again. So, and then I think the top lake, I think, uh, I'm right in saying, I think they call it the Delta Summit. I think that's got the pike in it. So, but I don't know if you can see. But uh, from tip at rod there, that's normally where you stood. So it's it's under it's under a bit of water. As you can see, look, your pathway goes down round back of that tree down there. And uh, I mean, we've got waders on, but it's nice to keep your feet dry if you can, isn't it? <laughs> so. I have a few casts with lower. I've brought the light streaming rod as well, just for a bit of fun. I might uh, set up like uh, like a hanging nymph setup. See uh, see what goes on. So wish us luck and welcome back. And hit that subscribe button as well. Oi! <laughs> neck <laughs> what great fun that is come on there is a deep down They're a bit acrobatic, aren't they? Good fun though. <laughs> right, come on kid, in you come. Just <laughs> right down there a minute. I've run up to self, look, Barbara sucks. That's a bit of a slab, could stay up fly. <laughs> Nice fish that. Yeah, settle for a few of them today. So I've not touched him, so he'll be fine. There you go. <laughs> so I've 
we've got a little shrimp pattern on and an indicator and the shrimp's probably sat about two foot under my indicator and I'm not putting any movement into it just because it is breezy today so I'm just letting the wind carry it a bit so this is the first fly I've just put on as well and uh, just watching the water <laughs> even though it is chucking it down um, there are a few signs of them beginning to come up so we'll keep an eye on that if they start coming up I'll put a dry on but we shall see <laughs> Not a bad sized fish to be fair, they look half full of string, I tell you. They're a bonny fish as well. Let's say if you've never had a go at this, get a try, it's good fun. There's, there's plenty of places up and down land like this where you can pay for a day's fly fishing. Some places do tuition as well, you know, where casting a line and whatnot. That's a nice chubby one, that, isn't it? Look at that. Going mad, isn't it? One up to itself. Nice fish, that. Nice size fish that. <laughs> on the dry. I was determined to get one on dry. Wait. Are you gillying for me or am I doing my own? Oi. They fight hard in here, don't they? Yeah. Doesn't matter what size they are, they give you a good run. Don't you dare come off now, mate. <laughs> Oof, at that ping that you don't want to feel. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> Hey. Oh! <laughs> uh, knock it off. Yeah. There you go. Flies come out in that lock. I don't think. Oh! Yeah, it's come out. Yeah. I'm going to let him go. It's just. That's right. I thought there was another fly there as well. It's not. Yeah, let them go because my fly's stuck, so let's care for the fish. Whee! <laughs> At last! Thank you very much. Yay! Yay! <laughs> I was determined to get one on. 
on dry. Yeah. I know you're getting them on the snakes, but I just wanted something different. Yeah. Had a little bit of a break in proceedings because uh, the weather's absolutely pants. My finger ends are dropping off for you. Can't feel them. <laughs> you go to try and put a new fly on, don't you? Oh. Like, oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, battery died. Tell you, chuffing GoPro batteries, they're rubbish, aren't they? It's five yeah. degrees, so isn't it? And they just don't like yeah, the cold. Yeah, they don't like it. As neither do I. Neither do my fingers. I know. I tell you, I hope you're enjoying this. Because <laughs> <laughs> my fingers are. <laughs> <laughs> but we, like I say, we've had a, a little stop in proceedings to have a, a bite to eat. Try and warm fingers up. Try and get them working again. I mean, I've put gloves on and I think that's probably a bit daft because I've been stripping lines, yeah. so they're just working because it's raining. I mean, we're used to it, you know yeah. what I mean? We do a lot of winter piking, as you know. We live in England, of course, we're used to it. <laughs> but uh, fishing's not been bad. You're struggling a bit, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, I've still got to just find the right. Yeah. I wonder right. if maybe just put the same fly on as me. Yeah, I sort of try and avoid doing it. Why? Just to try and find... Some that's work. Yeah. There's not a right them. lot topping. No. The, there's, the, the odd fish comes up, mm. but you've tried it on little uh, suspender buzzer, yeah. haven't you? And Absolutely nothing. It's not working. They all stopped as soon as I put that on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Place is flooded. I mean, I'm not surprised. Yeah. This blooming weather. Yeah, and it's a quarry, so it's got nowhere to drain out. Has no, it? no, so... there's, there's no, there's no runoff for it, no. so it's just natural. But it's really strange for us because neither of us have ever seen it like this, have we? No, not seen it this high. No. No. But like I say, just gonna get his hands warmed up, and then we'll go, we'll go again. So I'll see you in a bit. Again, it's lad. <laughs> right, head shakes. Not a bad fish, isn't that, neither? fish. Well, around about two pound mark I reckon. Pound and three quarters. Oh, heck. Oh. That one's pulling. Oh. Good quality fish in here, I tell you. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Doing his best to throw that oak. Come on. Another decent fish, you know. Okay, 
Okay, so this is my confession. I was busy watching a pike that was behind me. And thankfully, I had my finger on the line. Because um, <laughs> I've got a dry fly on. <laughs> I've just got a trowel. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> well, I'll see the woman in action. <laughs> That was a funny. You see, I've been watching a fly all day. Turn your back. Stop watching it, get a fish. All right, come on. Oh, trying to knock it off. Oh, <laughs> dearie me. I don't know if you can see this on the camera. I'm probably six foot away from a pike. It's got some spawning marks on it. But fantastic to see so close up while it's in the water. That's <laughs> how close you can get. Big red jacket on. As soon as it stops raining <laughs> for a second, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run through what uh, the the rod and the line and what have you that I've been using. So the reel's a, a leader LC. So it's it's basically just an arbor for rip foot line, and the line I'm using it's a it's a weight forward uh, DI3 line. I don't know if you can see that on real. It's a bit muddy. <laughs> but it's uh, the weight forward. For people that don't know, it's the the weight of the lines it basically forward, so it's at front at line. So that that's what gives you that little bit of extra oomph just to you know shoot your lower out. And the uh, the law that I've been using, which is caught a few fish yeah. on it so far. Yeah, it does really well. It's a, uh, it's a bit bedraggled, but <laughs> that's it. It's a snake, so it's basically you can. I don't know if you can see there. The hook is at the back, and I basically I've been using a uh, twelve pound fluorocarbon. But when they get fired up and they're chasing lower, to me it doesn't really matter. You know, you can go heavy. But the floor of carbon, it disappears in water anyway. So that's the, the setup. Um, we just stuck that back on there. <coughs> the, uh, the rod. It's a 147 gram rod, so it's a, a Witchwood True Fly, and it's a, a 10 foot 8 weight, so it's quite an hefty rod. And uh, you had a go with it, and yeah. you didn't like it, did you? Well, I could only use it in sort of five, ten minutes, but I couldn't fish with that all no. day because it was it's really heavy, really yeah, stiff. It, yeah, isn't it? it is. Yeah, but it, it's I like to use it, mate, because it's got a load of backbone in it for. You know, there's some decent yeah. fish in here. Yeah. So, 
<coughs> it's you know, ten foot eight weight's quite a quite a big big heavy rod. Yeah. So some people might not like it. Yeah. But I do. I think it's pretty smart. And then this and is it, one extreme to the other, isn't it? Just a bit, yeah. Yeah. So you the reel is a a dragonfly cartridge, three five five, like with a disc drag on it. <coughs> and uh, it's a little uh, double taper four line, so it's what I'd normally use on streams and you know small rivers and stuff like that. And the the rod is a, a witchwood true fly, so it's a seven foot three to four weight rod. <laughs> So you warned me, because I borrowed this one up at one stage, because we had them all set up oh, on different things. You can get a proper bend in so, it. So, and you said, good to, fun. you said to me, didn't you, when you cast it, it feels quite floppy. And yeah, it does, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah, but it's designed for rivers. Of course it is. It's just nice if I can get into one or two at rainbows on this. Yeah, it's It'll good be good fun. fun. Yeah. And uh, I've gone nice and light on the tippet. It's a three pound tippet and a little bead head nymph flop. So I'm basically sight fishing, so if I see any fish cruising, I'll flick it in front of them and then it drops down in front of them and then they've got a, a choice, either they'll take it or they'll turn away. So, but I can I can switch between using a, a nymph or a dry fly or something like that. So that's what I've been using. And then mine's sort of in the middle of the two, isn't they? So mine was bought as a complete um, yeah. rod and reel setup, and yeah, I really, yeah. really love it because it's not too heavy. I can use it all day. Um, it's Gray's one, and I think they call it a K4ST. Um, it's a nine foot six, and it's a number seven weight, isn't it? It's I don't know how to K, say it. K4STX, but it's sort of pronounced Cast, Cast. X. Yeah. Cast X, and it's. Uh, Nine foot six seven weight. So it's nice that it's got the it's length. It's got a nice reel with yeah. it as well. It's got the length really nice. for me. It's fairly stiff but not overly so. And I, yeah. it's you know it, it's a weight that I could. I've used it. You know, using it all day. Mm, mm. Um, whereas your heavy one, I couldn't use all day. No. But this is perfect for me. Which so is, it's a man's rod, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. Let's get cracking and see if we can get into a few more, eh? Definitely. Cross your fingers. Yeah. And hit that subscribe button as well, please. <laughs> and cross your fingers that it doesn't start raining again. That yeah, would be yeah nice. it would be nice. <laughs> <laughs> your fingers are dropping off. Yeah, I've got prune hands. <laughs> right, let's Come get on. back at them. Yay! <laughs> Try not to get my hands in where camera so you can see what's going on, but this fish tore off. Absolutely tore off. Oh. <laughs> Tell you something. How much fun can you have? <laughs> Rivers are shut. Still fishing weight lowers in to a fashion. <laughs> Tell you, they don't half fight hard. Look at that. <laughs> Come on now. Ducks are having a fight. See if we can get this one in net. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's a lovely fish. I've just been absolutely mullered. <laughs> Come out of nowhere that. Couldn't even see it. Nailed the fly. <laughs> it's 
This one ain't net. <clears throat> Again. I think it's ready. So your weather conditions are miserable, but the fishing's pretty good. Can't complain at this, can we? Come on. Some vivid colours on that one. What about her? I've got prune fingers, how about you? I can't feel mine, oh, I don't okay. know. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, that were a bit of a growler, wasn't it? Yes, but we caught fish, I've so... Got, I've got to admit as well, I was thinking it and I didn't say it. I'm bloody proud of you. Why? I'm proud of her. Why? Standing in that rain all day. Yeah. There's not that many women out there all day with that. Oh, men. Oh man, yeah. <laughs> so if you if you daft as a brush like we are and you do that kind of thing, comment below and let us know. As I tell you, yeah, there'll be other women out there that go fishing. Of course they will. Of course they will. And hopefully the you know they'll be watching channel because you're on it. You know fishing yeah. as well. So it it was chilly and it was very damp at times. Yeah, it was. Yeah, but we yeah, caught it was fish. Cold. We caught fish, love. Yeah, I know. And the fish in there are always really hard fighting, aren't they? They give yeah, you yeah. good, good fight. It's really, really deep. Yeah. Like, really deep, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. I think, he didn't he say it was something like... Uh, isn't it 80 foot or something? Yeah, it's a quarry lake, yeah. so it's like... Up on the far side, it's just like a sheer drop straight down to the bottom. Yeah. Uh, but it's been good, I've enjoyed it, have you? Yeah, but yeah. Do you know one of the things I really enjoyed was seeing those pike. Yeah, and being hopefully able, they come I out really, on the film. I really, really hope the footage comes out. But to be just like four or five foot from females who you could see had spawned yeah. because they had quite heavy markings, didn't they, from yeah, spawning. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But that was just, it was amazing to see. Yeah, it's pretty cool, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. You, you learn a lot. You know, when you can see fish, you learn a lot. Because so. at one stage, there were two together. Yeah. And I said to Sean, oh, I think they're spawning. But it wasn't. We no, no. You I... think, which I totally agree with, it was two females, because then you suddenly just saw a massive splash, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, they, they sort of came up intertwined, didn't they, yeah. like that? And then one flipped over at top, and then it boosh at tail, yeah. and then big eruption, and they both disappeared, didn't yeah. they? So. yeah. But yeah. Meanwhile, the car's steaming up. <laughs> yeah. But we've had a we had a bit of a break. Yeah. Didn't we? Yeah. We needed but, it, love. Yeah. You can't do it week in week out. You know. We we had a little bit of a break. Yeah. And we we just went fishing for a, for us just yeah. a bit a bit of downtime, yeah. bit of our time. And we got the laptop fixed as well. Which yeah, laptop fixed. So that, I think that's what started it off. Yeah. I think we sort of. You know, because we couldn't do any any editing or yeah. uploading, it sort of put scuppers on things yeah. for a couple of weeks. Yeah. So that's okay. Everyone needs a break. Yeah, yeah. And we bought a camper van as well. <laughs> we did that we? as well. Yeah. Uh, that's uh, that's been a very good distraction. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be brilliant. Yeah. We're gonna have some fun times in that. Yeah. I think I'll probably be going away fishing as well with it. So. Yeah. Yeah. That'll make an appearance on the channel, I'm sure. Yeah. But we'll wrap it up then. 
So I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, hit that like button. Yeah. And if you're not a subscriber, do Please that do. too. Yeah. So that said then, thanks for joining us. Until next time, tight, tight lines. lines. Right. Yeah, missed me, man. <laughs> How do you manage that? <laughs>